Hi, hello. Welcome back to Spelling's 5-Minute Build School. Today we're working on paths and roads. Your paths are the backbone of your build and are what gives your build space to breathe and show it off. The first thing you want to do is to look at your build and decide what kind of road you want. For example, a road made for cars would look pretty odd in a fairy forest. But a meandering dirt path would look pretty out of place in a city. One of the main purposes of a path is to provide an easy access route for somewhere and can create spaces that lead your eyes around the build area. With that in mind, we can sketch out where we want our paths and roads to go. Paths are a great way to add a bit of extra atmosphere to your build. Whether it's a lovely landscape, mountainous slope, or a sprawling cityscape. When it comes to designing your paths, there's something that you want to work with the palette you choose and the story you're wanting to tell. Take for instance, these two paths through a patch of woods. If I've done my job well, then the path on the right looks like it's tra both travelled well and better maintained. So, how do we get these epic paths? Well, it's all about block choice and getting some nice gentle curves. The first thing you want to do is to choose a few blocks that will lay the foundation of your path. In this case, I'm going to use cobblestone, polished andesite and stone bricks to make a well-maintained pathway. By taking a primary building block, in this case cobble, to give some texture and using the polished andesite and stone brick to give it that well-traveled look. By only picking a small number of blocks that have a similar tone, it keeps the path looking much more cohesive if you want to blend it into another path or a shade of blocks. It makes it easy to do. Build up your two paths to where you want them to meet. Then on each other's side of the line, scatter blocks from the other path. This will result in a blend rather than a hard line. As for getting those sweet, sweet curves, grab a shovel and sketch out the center line of those paths. Some people build paths from the left side going to the right and vice versa. While others dig the center line and build outwards. Things to keep in mind to get nice looking paths. While a straight diagonal is fine if you want a hard man-made look, to get an organic look you'll want to get better results by varying the number of blocks in a straight line with each other. To get natural looking curves, try not to go more than 7 blocks before moving a block to the left or to the right. These are the tools I use to make some awesome looking paths. Enjoy these to give you some ideas and hey, if you like the video, drop a comment and subscribe. I publish weekly. Bye!